What a woman. Hello everybody, welcome back to Mindset Games. My name is Ed Sight and today... We've got some support logs to take care of. <laughs> okay. We got some paralogs to take care of. I've got some more kids out there in the world. And I want to rescue them as quickly as possible. I've got more conversations here between our buddies. So I'm going to go ahead and kick it off with Charlotte and Benny. Uh, support rank, yes, please. Hello, Charlotte. You wanted to talk? I'm one. I wonder if I'm dreaming unrealistically. I have this mental image of riches and fame and everything. And it makes regular men unsatisfying to pursue. Hmm, <laughs> that seems tough. Then I realized something, and it made me a more than a little worried. What was it? Even if I do find a good partner who meets all my standards, I'll constantly be stressed that he'll find out I've been acting all along. And if he does, things will fall apart for sure. If that's how you think things will go, what are you going to do? Well, I was thinking maybe it would be better if I changed my goal. I can pursue a man who already knows how I am beneath the act. A man that... It, a man like that has already has already accepted me for how I truly am. I'm one of those men, aren't I? You are. Actually, you were exactly who I was just talking about, Benny. What? Really? Jeez, my face during that segment. But if we were together, you'd have to you'd have to give up on your desire for vast wealth, right? I would, but excuse me while I adjust that. It's a little less... There we go! I've got shadow on my re... Whoa, blinding. There we go. I realize that that love and wealth don't have to come as a set. Yeah, no, they don't. They never do. For the most part. I don't have any sort of gold or riches, but I will definitely make you happy. I promise. Then, it's settled. Charlotte? Thinking about it now. It's always been so easy to talk to you, Benny. I <laughs> can... If I could feel like that, I'd want to be with you all the time. We can be together forever. Aww. It's beautiful. Alright. Got Odin and Nyx. The tales are from the darkness itself. Support rank S. Alright, Odin. What's with the secrets? <laughs> Secrecy. Why did, why did you call me out here? Well, Nyx, I've been thinking about a child. Child? What child? The child that will be born to us. What? Makes sense. A child who might inherit your calamitous might, as well as my own sacred blood. We will continue to exist in our child, like a bridge connecting us to the future. That's what I was thinking of, deep, right? In other words, this is your roundabout way of proposing to me? Well, you could take it like that. I see. I'm disappointed in you, Odin. What? A cowardly, indirect proposal is hardly beha behavior for a mysterious, shadowy figure. A proper practitioner of the fell arts would just ask me directly. Consequences be damned. Your words strike with the force of the most fearsome curses. Odin, did you have something to say? N no, nothing at all. I, I could have proposed normally if I wasn't so intimidated. But every time I look at you and you're unholier than thou aura, I feel unworthy. Will you stop doing that? I told you once, I accept who you are, regardless of how malefic you might not be. I know you say that, but... No, say it right. This is your last chance. Alright. Nyx, I love you. Please accept this ring and marry me. That's better. Yes. Now what should we name this child you're imagining? I have a feeling we're going to know today! Exactly! I'm not going to do the rest of the support logs right now because I do want to at least go gradually with them. But we are going to immediately go ahead and get Ophelia! The answer has been resolved. Oh crap, I, I usually read that out loud. Hang on, I'll be right back. Actually, you know what? Nah, we're good. Here we are. The town no at, at the town known for its selection of great tomes. Pardon me, I meant tombs. Excuse me. 
I, I love the I love the text. Here we are, the town known for its selection of great tombs. Pardon me, I meant tomes. Such are the whims, of, are the whims, of, whims of fate. Tombs? Tomes? I walk in darkness either way. But today, it's not books, not graves that I've come to find. Books open to knowledge. Books laid on their spines. Books flapping their wings like the greatest of dragons. Climb on, they say. Ride with us to the realms of enlightenment. Ow. Oh. Ugh. <laughs> What's wrong, touch of gas? <gasps> My aching blood! <laughs> I wanted to say it with him. This town. Something. Someone! The very air in this place threatens the even keel of my interior being. The shadows within me are ascending. The dark overtakes me! <laughs> it tickles. But now, sinking into my well of darkness, I drown in power. Soon I can tap into the strongest of all of my abilities. Eldritch Smackdown! I love it. Ugh, sorry I asked. Huh? Who's that? Ah, fair finger of fate, pointing me here to this town. What power I sense brimming in these quaint lanes. Power! No, Ophelia, contain yourself. You mustn't give in to such a swell. You alone hold day and night at bay. You are the dusk. Be strong. Ugh, such power! If, o if only I drank of it, I could use the strongest of my abilities. Hey, hey Odin, she speaks just like you. Can of the dark and so on? Hmm. hmm. Could it be? Ophelia? <gasps> oh, father. Hi. It's been too long. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. No, no, no. You can't just hi me. Why are you in my world? <laughs> oh, father, you know me. I'm always questing after the unknown. I've come here searching for a tome. The super ultimate tome. I have a feeling that it was a sword in the prior game. What? What? The super ultimate? Uh-oh. Yes. Yes, clearly you know of it. After all, it was listed in your own book of of supreme fatal divine names. To know your you know, your encyclopedia of exceedingly dangerous thingamajigs. The super ultimate tome was the most forbidden book listed there. What? What? But daughter, please don't tell me you read from my book of lists. That was private. Sorry. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Now I crave the super ultimate tome. I won't stop until I have that book. The darkness within me demands it. It bangs on the door of my heart. I will let it through, Father, just as soon as I have that book. Um, um just one thing, Ophelia. That book. <gasps> ah! Run for your lives! Ruffians are pillaging the town! You don't say. What? Perfect timing. What? Not on my watch. Ophelia, here to serve. Oh gosh, I think the... There we go. My my headphones were turned down for some reason. They've got a little volume exchanger on here. Ophelia, here to serve. Townspeople, you have nothing to fear. Consider this holy... I consider this holy ground, and I will bring my full vengeance to bear. When all is said and done, I will have the save... I will have saved the super ultimate tome, too. Huh? How stupid. One girl saving this town all by herself? Aha! I am here too! I'm gonna drop that off. Excuse me. Ugh. Who are you? The chosen, the chosen hero arrives! And what is he called, this soldier of darkness? Odin Dark is his name. And if he says that if and he says that if you lay so much as a finger on his daughter, Ophi Odin Dark will deliver his most deadly move. Eldritch Smackdown! I love that. I love that phrase. Um what? The chosen, the chosen heroine arrives, and what is she called? This maiden of darkness? Ophelia Dusk is her name. I've got the scene covered, Odin Dark. You can exit stage left. For Ophelia Dusk will now deliver her most deadly move. Luminary uppercut. Luminary uppercut. Okay, I, I can I, I can see that. I can see that. <sighs> Two of you freaks! What is this? A shakedown! Well, you can't squall- you can't scam quality thugs like me and my crew. Everyone get him! Zoravia, the fleet-footed Pegasus warrior, is at the scene. Goodness, I've got quite a few. Alright. It's time for me to actually take a look. Okay. So you and Rajat, that's right. Um, 
I believe you two are paired up, but... Oh, wait, wait, wait! Right. I was gonna do that. Um, inventory. Odin, you can give that back to me. Um... More noble... Where's... There you are. Um... I'm gonna do this on screen right now because I need to. Uh... Do you have two of these? Okay, I'm using this. Oshido Noble. Yes, please. Give me that. It's literally the exact same except I get choice of stabs instead of tomes. So not that big a deal. Magic drops by two. Speed drops by one. Resistance drops by three. But everything else rises. That's not bad. The ability to use stabs. That's actually pretty good. Okay. Um. How about my defense? What does my defense look like? 26. Alright. Jeez, there's a lot of vulnerabilities in here. I'm gonna increase the defense by two. There we go. Alright, is that maxed out? Yeah, that's maxed out. Okay, that was just enough. Um. So I could change Odin into a different class, but I feel like his daughter will have the better end of the deal, no matter what. Custom weapon with a, with a name of at least 12 characters long. Okay, do I have such a weapon in my inventory? Let's see. A custom weapon. I don't know why I'm looking in there. Really? Disrobing Gale is the only one right now that is that long. Well, maybe. Shurikens are looking mighty nice, though. Do I have a sword that's that good? Any swords? Any? Nope. Okay. Um, I think I'll leave Odin the way he is. Kaldori's looking mighty nice. Alright. Kaldori and... Alright. I need to remember who's paired with who. Kaldori, I believe, was... Okay, Kiragi, that's right. Okay. You were paired with you. We just got you, that's right. Uh... Um, Midori. Ooh. Where's Selkie? There you are. Um. Hang on, I'm gonna check out Selkie real quick, see what she had. She had a B support with Shiro, that's right. Select units. Um, I really want Forrest to be in the fight, though. Sorry, Shiro, you're headed to the bench real quick. We're getting a Wyvern Lord out here. Where's Percy? There you are. Um, let's move you over here. I believe you are right here. Alright. I believe I've got him paired up with everybody in the right way. Really? I can't- okay. Seven and seven. Okay. And I'm gonna switch to Soleil. Alright! Let's fight! For now. Let's do this. Route the enemy! This shouldn't be too hard. Alright. Um... Before I begin, I need to introduce a mechanic to you guys. Well, not a- nope, not really. Um, just need to point something out to you guys. If you land on a space here and visit, you should get different tomes from different areas. No! Don't say it's true! Bad times come to our little town? I'd try the spell out on them if I was a little older. Here, you take it. Horse spirit. What rank? Ah, oh, dang it. I don't have an arm scroll that I can give him. Alright. Um. A bolt Naganata will not deal even, a, out, even an ounce of damage to him. Nope. 
there's somewhere nearby I can get a tome from. Nope. Oh, jeez. I need to go over you as well. You've got one. Alright. Let's have you go up here. Kaldori, head right behind me. Alright. Ophelia, use this right here. And the question is... No, it's not even a question. Just a matter of do I need swords or not. I just want the sorcerer class. Alright. Let's change her. Make her good. Guess I ran out right before recording. Alright. Now this is the role I was meant to play. Oh man. That little red arm guard right there. I just want to take a look at that. That is... Hang on. I, I want to take a look at that real quick. She and her father both have... The... Oh, okay. The, their sleeves. That looks even cooler now that I think about it. I thought they were just arm guards. Or like a band or something. That's interesting. Um, I'm gonna move... Okay, you've got better resist resilience. I wanna move you down there. I'm gonna move you over here. Hopefully get to that town. Oh boy. It's not what I wanted to see. Oh, holy crap, Ophelia's in over her head! That's not very, very good. Oh boy. A lot of my characters are in over their head and they're all kids. They're all child terror. Uh, really? I have to take you out first? Jeez! Mm, you're a jerk! Ah, crap. Alright. I'm just gonna drop the attack real quick over here. Have Ophelia swing in and take it out. Alright. And then Percy comes up. Oh, dang it! Um, okay, maybe not Percy. Okay, that's not bad. She's out of the danger zone. Thank goodness. What? Where? Ruffians here? We won't stand a chance. We don't stand a chance. Maybe you could do something. Especially if I give you this. Yeah, that could help, but not on that character. Eh. I get one shot to take it out, and she's not gonna do it. Switch. Yep, that'll take it out. You had to add the Luna on there. That's... Uh, Alright. Alright, I'm gonna swing by here. Thank you. I forgot to change weapons on my main character. I completely forgot about that. Okay. Really? gonna be a jerk about it. Okay. Dagnabbit, okay. Hang on. Yeah, you both have Yumi's. Okay. This is kind of bad.
Uh, you know what? Crap. Scrap it. Thank you. All right, that's that's a little better. It's a little better than I was planning on it being. Grim Dark has lower resistance than his daughter, or excuse me, a lower defense than his daughter. His daughter has great defense though, or excuse me, great resistance though. Oh, come on. This is the part where I moan and complain for all eternity. Really? Steel Naginata will take it out. Are you kidding me? There's another one over there? Hang on. Okay. Let's switch to Kira. Oh, Kiragi can snipe it. Alright. Good. Really? You're not even gonna fight back. This is so bad. This is so bad on so many levels. Alright. Ophelia... May not survive this if I do that. Um... Oh, you're a jerk. You are such a jerk. Alright. Oh my gosh! Odin, you're despicable. Oh, this is so bad. Okay, hang on. I do not think I can make a crit on that. I, I think I doomed I think I doomed myself by going with all child characters this time. This is the only character I have to move right now. Whoa. Switch. Items. Use. Alright, she's out of range. Oh, you're a jerk! You are a jerk! You're a jerk, you're a jerk, you're a jerk, 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 I don't think I'll be using Ophelia this file. She used to be kind of overpowered in one of my other files. Oh, hey, Forrest. Nice work there. Oh, right. Forrest's a dude. I keep... That is the first time I've done that mistake. I am sorry to all transgender people out there. I am fudged up. Jeez! Vengeance is... Dang near impregnable. Alright. Oh my gosh. Okay. I gotta figure out what to do. Alright, if so I go there, that's not bad. I gotta figure out how to get rid of three more. Eh, out sniped. Let's do that. Okay. Really? That would have been more satisfying if that was a critical hit. I'm just saying. That would have been more satisfying. Ha. Okay. I'm gonna have that. Let's get... Let's GTH... Oh. Alright. I may be in deep. I've come for this town's rare tomes. They're mine, all mine. Uh, you just got shot in the throat. <laughs> all right, I need to figure something out. Wow. All right, that's not bad. Okay, survival hey. is is. It's kind of sad that survival is what I'm thinking about. Alright. 
Norian Trust can use a supporting unit's triggered skills in combat. If only I could see what that was. Come on. I'm gonna drop it, though. Okay. Come on. There's more flooding in from the north. And I need to figure out what I'm gonna do. Iron Sword can take you out. His defense is nearly impregnable, so I can leave him down there on his own. Uh, who does Shigure have for- Wait, 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 right, 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 duh. Alright. Alright, um... Steel Sword will take you out. Oh boy. Alright, um... She only takes two damage from that. I'm... content with that. She doesn't take any damage from that! Never mind! I was like, she only takes two damage from that. I think I can work with that. Nope. She had a block up. I didn't expect that. Okay. Um. He's got good defense. Um. I think I'll go over here. Are you serious with me? You are the biggest jerk that ever jerked on screen. Actually, that actually that sounds kind of ugh. Okay. Not bad, Soleil. You're almost there. You're almost there to the final stretch there. All right. All right. Um. Alright. Twenty-one zero, okay. Um I've never been back to do a quarter like this before, where I sort of had the upper a upper hand, but it spread along the battlefield. Kind of had the upper hand, but not really. Okay. Um. Alright, you at least deal enough damage there. How far can you move? You can easily damage me from there. Um. I'm not risking it. Uh. But I kinda want to. I wonder. It'll deal 24 damage to me. Ah, crap. I gotta get out of his range. I gotta get out of his range. I'll Dragonstone to your face. I'll deal... Stabbing damage. Luna twice. That's actually pretty good. And let's see how the enemy turn head fares. Came to the wrong neighborhood. Oh boy. Where are you going? Oh boy. When they split at that at that point, you gotta wonder. What kind of sick game are they making? Are they messing with? Send that to the convoy. All right. Um. Steel sword could take you out. Thank you very much. I needed that. Thank you. Uh, Twenty-three against seventeen. That is going to kill. 
I should have healed a little bit. Okay. You have to hit. Oh, 100%. So... Physic. Why didn't I do that first? Well, she would have gotten all the experience at that point, and I probably wouldn't have been able to get some experience for... Freaking Valoria. What am I talking about? Valoria is, like, higher level than Ophelia right now. Just for the roll, there you go. Um... Whew. Thank goodness. Okay. There we go, Kana and Rajat. Ophelia! Ophelia, I've got bad news for you. That so-called encyclopedia of mine? The Book of Supreme Fatal Divine Wet Names? It's just my idea book. A place to scribble down impressive names for weapons. That's all. Huh? So the super ultimate tome? Yes. yes, it doesn't exist. Uh, really? Sorry to disappoint you, Ophelia. But maybe this will make it up to you. Well, um, it's at home. <laughs> I bought it here in town. Dashed into a store be between moves. I have a habit of naming my weapons, but I haven't named this one. Why don't you name it? I can name this toad myself, Father? What should I- whatever should I call it? Ah! I have the perfect name! Hmm? 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 That was a little quick, no? What's the name, then? I named this tome Mistletane! Mistletane? Why that name? I saw it scribbled in the margins on the very last page of your idea book. I thought it had to be more than just an idea for a name, Father. They were pretty co there were comments that said it was a pretty crummy weapon, as it turned out. What was it? Slips out of the hand, cuts dull as a butter knife? I don't care, I just love the sound of that name, Mistletane. <laughs> what an ear you have, attuned to the slightest in- Intimidations of legend. Oh. Intim- Oh! Intimations of le of legend. I was like, intimidations of legend. I don't see a D there. <laughs> okay. I just realized what I said there. It it, it could have been taken the wrong way. All right. Mistletane was the only name in that book I ever gave to a real weapon. Oh yes, how I remember Mistletane, the blade to which my hand was wed, the blade from which my enemies fled. We were quite a pair. Is your hand empty now? Let us hold hands, father and let us hold hand let us hold hands, father and daughter, and let our foes flee our wrath. After all, now I hold mistletoe, so we are three. What? What? If I sift through your f your flair for words. Yes. Yes, I want to travel with you. We are both chosen ones. Ha ha! ha, -ha! Though we march together, we are the chosen two. I can only hope the others won't be too humbled around so much exp excellence. Go introduce yourself, Ophelia. <laughs> at once, Father. Just imagine, Ophelia Dusk and Odin Dark together at last. Hey! Hey, did you catch that at all? Dusk and Dark? I think the rest of us are at risk of being upstaged! <laughs> <laughs> no way. No way. They'll never... Wait, what do you mean upstage us? Well, anyway, it's all harmless fun. And Ophelia seems pretty nice. So I'm so excited, daughter! I can't believe that we've been re that we've been united, both of us on the eternal stage of battle, with Mistletane in a supporting part. I can already see it. A thousand foes before us, falling before my might. Leave some for me. Leave some for me. At least one hundred. No, five hundred. <laughs> I laugh at the odds. Let our foes come. I will smack them down. <laughs> I'll laugh louder and smack them harder. I will show you how it's done, father. You got mistletane. All right. Um, I need to make an amendment from ages ago. I don't believe I ever, and I mean ever, went over Midori's special skill. Uh, she has Lucky Charm. Grants twenty per uh, grants an additional twenty percent to the trigger rate for all this unit's luck-based skills. Helps in a pinch, but only on luck-based skills. Very handy. Um, 
Ophelia, on the other hand, has a special one, and if you think, oh, custom weapon, tw like, 20 letters, there's no space for that. Bibliophile. Let that name sink in for a little bit. Grants crit plus 10, excuse me, it grants crit plus 10 whenever this unit is carrying three or more tomes or scrolls, which I usually just throw a quick fire spell or something into her inventory just to give her a little spice. And it gives her an additional crit based offense, so it helps out a lot. We've got a lot here. Ophelia and Odin. Hiya! Attack my supreme secret weapon! Mistletane of Purgatory! Whoosh! Bang! Boom! Really? You're doing the sound effects too. They're not even like legendary sound effects. Whew! How ghastly! You're simply getting what you deserved. An attack on thine own vile spirit. Take comfort. You'll have ample time to bemoan your inflated ambition in a frosty tomb. For I am Crimson Ophelia, and I will end this valiant fight. Uh, Ophelia? Father, whatever are you doing here? What are you doing here, young lady? Explain yourself at once! A explain You heard me. Um, well, I was just practicing. You see, there's an evil lord who controls the world, so I battled him into a corner. At the last fateful moment, I used his dark power against him to triumph. Oh. Why are you making that strange face? Am I being childish? No, Ophelia, it's not that. It just... Just what? Never you mind. Father! So the silent treatment is supposed to make me understand what I did wrong? What a passive way to criticize me. The Chosen Ones are always so harsh. That's not what he's going O oh about. Nix and Ophelia. Mother, my situation is terribly dire. Tell me what's wrong, dear. A voracious beast stirs within me. It demands a hearty offering. <laughs> I remember this from earlier in the Conquest playthrough. I'm like, I know exactly what it's gonna be, and I don't think it's gonna be what I think it is. Ah, why not just say you're hungry? <laughs> you know, I mean, so well. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Better than I thought it was gonna be. All right. <laughs> you know me so well. Naturally, after all, I am a chosen one. You are? Somehow I always suspected. I have to admit, I'm a little jealous. I wish I were a chosen one too. Then we could battle side by side. That would really be something. First, we'd better quiet this grumbling in my belly. You're rumbly and you're tumbly. Alright, I'm done. I'm, I'm done with the Disney references. Of course, I'll make us a nice lunch. Let me help. What should I do first? How about finding a couple of bowls for us to use? You bet! I predict that this will be the most delicious. Ah! Well. Mother, oh no. My shattered bowl fortune telling reveals a dire event in our future. Oh, Ophelia, just apologize for breaking the dish. Okay, you're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it, it makes more se it makes more sense if uh Felicia's the mom because she breaks dishes a ton. So I, I wanted to change that up a little for this file though. Zorabia and. Ooh, Kaldori and Orochi have a conversation. Okay. Have a moment, Orochi? I live to serve, Lady Zorabia. I was wondering if you could tell me a little more about my mother, Lady Makoto, a remarkable woman. I'd be delighted to share my memories of her. I barely had a chance to get to know my mother. So a little time because of what I... <clears throat> anyway, could you share some stories about her? But trust me when, sh when I say she wouldn't have blamed you for what happened. She'd be saddened if you blamed yourself, Lady Zoranya. But yes, a story. A funny one. That's what we need. She seems so graceful. You know, funny stories about her? Oh, she was endlessly hilarious. One time I recall catching her swimming with her slippers on. And she forget she had two chopsticks in hand and eat with four. <laughs> okay, okay. 
That sounds like something a sister of mine would do. I have three sisters, mind you. I'm not gonna give you their names, but I do have three sisters, and one of them has been seen on this channel. Link to that video will not be provided. You guys can go find it on the channel yourself. Um, future me may betray myself. Dang it, future me! Some might say she was absent-minded. Not I. She was a dreamer of dreams. So what if Lady Makoto had her silly mishaps? We loved her for it. Please, go on. Once she, sh she sat cross-legged for so long, her legs went to sleep. And I'm talking a deep sleep. She stood up right up before the curtain and careened right into a fountain. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh boy. That's insane. I wish I could have been there. <laughs> At least to help her out of the water. Your mother was truly unique. Like a wise sage in an accidental gesture. I wonder what would happen if you actually, actually had a sage and a jester have a kid together. She had the sweetest voice, but the things she would say. Honestly, that dear woman, she really was a hoot. Thanks, Orochi. That's exactly what I needed to hear right now. Ah. Zoravia and Kaldori have a conversation. Staring contest. I can't believe it. We couldn't find a single woman in the entire army who liked romance novels. Yeah, everybody else turned out to be so practical. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> um, if it makes sense with you, just, like, not everybody in the army is going to have that kind of thing. Somebody told me the real world isn't all dashing princes and glittering manikeets. Okay. Glittering manikeets. There's a story. Not one for me to tell. I don't have one. It's like they don't get the... That's the whole point. It's not the real world. They must think we're just silly dreamers. Maybe, but I think they need to be educated. If we can show them that the wonders such stories have to offer, they'll be hooked. How will we do that? Let me think. Oh, I know. Yeah, what did you come up with? Let's write our own story. What? That's impossible! I don't even know how to write! Well, writing a novel might be hard, but I bet we could make, sh make some short stories. And you think our stories will make everyone love romance novels? You have a lot of faith in us. And never do anything by half measures. I'm sure we'll succeed. And when we do, people will start wanting to see the stuff that we like. And that's when we show them our romance novels. They'll gobble them up like hotcakes. <laughs> okay, count me in. Let's do it. I've tried that with fanfiction on YouTube. Doesn't go well. Doesn't go well. Alright. Kana and Rajat have an A rank conversation for us. Rajat! Hello! You here? I swear I saw her coming here. She hasn't chosen a question for me to ask Mama yet. I'm here, Kana. Quite the little bloodhound, aren't you? I'll follow you anywhere. If only I could see you see more of your fun miracles. That's fine. I'm getting used to you. Now, what can I help you with? I have another toothache, or did someone put a tricky curse on you? I've been looking everywhere for something interesting to do today. No cavity, no curse, but, uh, Rajat? I've come to ask- I've come to get that question for Mama, but can I ask some things of you? Things? Yes, ask. Really? I didn't think you'd agree. I was much getting- I was getting the idea you didn't like me much. Wait, is this a trick? No comment. You see, I've had time to think since our last chat. I admire your mother so much. Why shouldn't I like her dragon spawn? Why would you call it that? Why would you- why would you call him that? He's literally ha- he is literally one-fourth dragon. That's a hint to what we're going to be experiencing at the very end of the series, guys. Oh, sure. I guess. Did I say something to upset you? I don't like many people, but you like Mama, and now me. But you wouldn't pay any attention to me at all if I wasn't her son. Hmm. True, and yet not. Your candor catches me by surprise. And so... I think you're unusual enough to hold my interests all on your own. Maybe. Anyway, I'm sorry if if I made you feel bad. That wasn't my intention. Really? Besides, it isn't all that 
it isn't all bad that you think it's neat that I can cure a toothache. Some shy away from the dark majesty of Rajat, you seek me out. I welcome your friendship. You mean it? We're, we're friends? Said the spider to the fly. Just kidding, but yes, friends. I can show you some of my most unsavory spells. Fun, Rajat! I knew I'd see some neat miracles if I got to know you. Okay, I'm wondering if a love potion is one of them. And you're gonna add his hair to it and essentially fall in love with it. Alright, Valoria and Shigure. Valoria, I finished the painting you requested. Oh, very good. I cannot wait to see. Alright, I hope you like it. Ta-da! Think... Ah. Um... Do you not like it? This is completely wrong. The tree branches should be dead, and the leaves lack that nice, rotten look. Well, and you have painted a full deer rather than just half of one. It looks like... It, it even looks freshly dead. What is this, a joke? Do you joke at me, human paint man? No, I tried to represent how the tent looks from your point of view. From my point of view, my eyeballs work as well as yours. Perhaps better. And they do... And, and they do not see this abomination. I know, I know. That's not what I meant. I meant I tried to make your things look as beautiful to others as they look to you. Ah, uh, I see. I suppose I have heard of art styles like that. I apologize. Perhaps I should not have reacted so ha hastily. You have put so much time and effort into making this for me. I feel I have been terribly rude. No, there's no need to feel that way. If anything, I should be apologizing. I have failed you. Shigure. May I keep this painting? Perhaps it will grow on me. Of course. Thank you. I will... Ah, look at it. Certainly. Yes. Ah, boy. I wonder if he's gonna redo the painting. Kaldori and Kiragi have an a rank conversation here. Yes! I hit it! I won! Ah, and I've lost. I suppose I should just be happy that I made it to second place. <laughs> Sweet revenge! I finally beat you! Yes, you did. Congratulations, Kiragi. Say, Kaldori, you didn't, like, go easy on me or anything, right? Of course not. What made you think that? I pushed you into competing, so I thought maybe you'd be trying to do me a favor. Or maybe you went easy on me because you didn't want the spotlight. No, I have never gone easy on an opponent. And I never shall. The simple truth is, I am not as skilled with a bow as you are. The goddess of victory decided it was time she smiled on you, not me. So I really did beat you. Yes. Now that's enough of this. A victor should accept both his losses and his triumphs with grace and equanimity. That is the first time I have said that word correctly. Equanimity. You're right. I'm sorry. Man, it does feel great to beat so to beat someone as talented as you, though. <laughs> yes, yes. You did well, Karaki. You know, somehow I almost don't mind your gloating if it makes you this happy. Aw. Alright. We've got Sigbird and Soleil with their B-Rank. Aha! No, wait, come back! Oh, excuse me. Soleil. Seaver! Are you chasing girls again? Yep, I can't help myself. Why, should I not? I won't order you not to. But if I recall correctly, you, you strive to carry yourself nobly, don't you? Yeah, I want to be strong enough that everyone can tell just by looking at me. And that it, And is that the impression you think you convey when you chase girls around? The look on her face just screams, You took all the fun away from my life! No, it probably isn't. <laughs> a wise assessment. Nor would I- nor would such a woman change clothes out of doors, I dare say. On a scale of 1 to 10, how sure are you about that? Soleil! There wasn't supposed to be any room for disagreement in that! Am I s all I am saying is that it would behoove you to act with more modesty. Uh, if you say so, I guess. But I really think a strong woman would be herself, and not be ashamed of her ways. If she feels something, she acts on it, without worrying about anyone else. That hadn't crossed my mind. 
Sorry, I didn't mean to talk out of turn. I'll keep it zipped from now on. My lord's orders are absolute, after all. Gotta go now. But I'll see you again. I'll see you later, future Lord Seedbert. Hmm. There may have been some truth in what she said. To be true to oneself, eh? And never what and never mind what others think of you. I wonder if I would be capable of that. Well, you are essentially glued to learning. Well, I kind of... Well, excuse me. Alright, let's talk to... Here you are. A raider Yumi. Alright. Oh, come on. I dodged it this past time, but we've got somebody else who has a paralog in next time. Um... I went over... You, this, that, the other... Okay, hang on. Builds. Gloria statue. Hey! Charlotte statue. Alright, go here. Let's upgrade. The Kana statue. I'm, I'm gonna upgrade the Zoramia statue because guess what it does? Instead of just all the people who have supports with me, all cap the cap on all ally strength goes up. It's nice. Alright. Um, I'm gonna take a dip in the hot springs just to chill out or essentially relax myself. Alright. Hmm. What do you think? Now that you see me properly. Pretty attractive, right? This is just the thing for sore muscles. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Kicking it back, soaking it all up. This is so nice that I hate it. I keep thinking about how vulnerable I am. That was not something to say indeed about. Being vulnerable in a hot spring it just makes you that much more ferocious. Ah, this is splendid. I wonder what the spring water does for one's skin. I think I've been in here long enough. So, just a little fun fact I want to share right now. I'm gonna go ahead and go into my inventory real quick. Um, where are you? There we are. Charlotte, um, in the hot springs if you are a dude. If you stumble across her in the hot springs, she will chase after you angrily, and her critical hit animation will pop up on this side of the screen. Boom! Ready for it now, my lord. You asked for it. There is one other character who does on the opposite side of the spectrum. Hana. One's deadly with an axe, the other with a sword. I'm kind of glad I'm a woman. I never thought that would be a quote for me. Editor, put that in the put that in there below. But thank you so much for tuning back into Mindset Games. My name is Insight, and next time we're gonna be grabbing the next child on our list, the Spawn, from none other than Benny and Charlotte. I'll see you guys then.